Once the DNA is stranded and a chromosome has been copied, the two copies of the DNA are condensed into two chromatids which are attached to each other at a centromere. The two chromatids are often called sister chromatids because they are identical. This phase is called prophase. At the beginning of mitosis, each chromosome consists of a pair of sister chromatids, and the chromosomes are lined up in the center of the cell. This phase is called metaphase. During mitosis, the two sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and become independent chromosomes as they are pulled to opposite sides of the cell. This phase is called anaphase. Finally, the individual chromosomes are moved completely to opposite sides of the cell, and the cell begins to split. <laughs> Once mitosis is complete, the cell can divide into two cells. The splitting of the cytoplasm is known as cytokinesis. Mitosis has produced two new daughter cells. Each daughter cell has received one copy of each chromosome, so each daughter cell has a complete copy of all the DNA in the original cell.